Garrett now opening Dragon Resilience into space. It happens somewhere over Australia and New Zealand. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. For the first time ever, a commercial astronaut, Jared Isaacman, opened the hatch to his SpaceX ship, then stepped into the blackness of space. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. This was the riskiest part of a five-day mission, orbiting three times higher than the space station. And without an airlock, all four Polaris Dawn astronauts had to suit up before opening their ship to the vacuum of space. Switching to left hand. Though today's spacewalk, really more of a space stretch. So these are the suit mobility checks that Jared is performing. As Isaacman and engineer Sarah Gillis tested their brand new spacesuits that astronauts might one day wear on the moon. Stepping in seat, test matrix one. Already they've climbed 870 miles above the Earth. The furthest humans have traveled since the Apollo missions and the first time women have traveled so far, conducting research and testing new technologies and posting Hello Earth on X using new laser light communications. NASA Chief Bill Nelson said today represents a giant leap forward for the commercial space industry. Senator and retired astronaut Mark Kelly. This expands the uh, ability uh, for commercial operations and we're moving uh, to commercialize more of especially low Earth orbit. And just maybe the final frontier. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.